Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the brand new Lorac Mega Pro 3. I am so excited to share this with you. I just got it a couple days ago. I got mine because I am a Platinum member at Ulta. The Mega Pro is exclusive to Ulta stores and online. They will be launching online on October 2nd. So keep your eyes out for this, but that is how I got it early in case you guys are wondering. But as soon as I got it, I knew I had to do a swatch video because it is so beautiful. I'm filming this on October 1st, so I'm feeling very fall and festive in case you were wondering about my lip color or my background or anything. You guys are going to be seeing some different pumpkins and things throughout the month of October. I even want to do some Halloween backdrops because this is my favorite month. It's my birthday month, so I kind of always go all out in October. So if you're wondering about my lip color, it is Ofra and Kathleen Light's Miami Fever and it matches my shirt. So yeah. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kendall and I do a lot of reviews like this. And October is going to be the month of makeup releases and then towards the holidays it gets crazy. So if you like reviews, definitely subscribe to my channel. You're going to be seeing a lot of them in the next few months. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the Lorac Mega Pro 3 and see swatches and hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. So first off, the packaging that this palette came in is so beautiful. Here's the box that it came in. It's white and rose gold. This is the front of it. It shows all the shades. And as you can see, this palette is 59 US dollars. And actually, I didn't plan this, but my nails are rose gold and they match. Here is the back of the palette. It just says a little bit more about it and it has this beautiful rose gold pattern. So the actual palette itself is white with rose gold lettering. And right off the bat, that is a downfall for me because as someone who plays with makeup, I know that white is a huge no-no and right off the bat, I was scared about the white packaging. It is beautiful, it's very beautiful and chic, but I already know that I'm going to get mine filthy. So come back and check with me in a year and I guarantee this will be covered with foundation and eyeshadow and the inside is going to be so messy. So I kind of wish that this palette would have been black with rose gold writing. I think that that would have been beautiful and maybe a little bit more practical, but I do really like it. I think it's beautiful and I'll get my pictures of it while I still can. So here's what the inside of the palette looks like. They always include a little protective film that says Lorac and then you take that away and you can see how gorgeous this palette is. Right off the bat, I noticed the mauves and the fall tones in this palette is definitely geared towards fall in my opinion and honestly, I was just blown away. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, I was like, my breath was taken out of my body. Like, this is so beautiful. And even though it is pricey, this palette has 32 shadows in it, so it is really worth it. It has 16 mattes and 16 shimmer shades, and the quality is the same, in my opinion, as the Lorac Pro palettes. Very buttery, very smooth, and Lorac eyeshadows are very pigmented. The Lorac formula is my number one eyeshadow formula. I love it. If you're a shimmer lover, you probably already love Lorac, but I am just blown away. Again, the only downfall I can think of is the white palette. I wish it wasn't white, but it is very beautiful, and the white palette does let you see the beautiful colors very easily. This palette also has a huge mirror in it. I'm facing it up so you guys can't see the giant mess I have going on, but it is a giant mirror, and this is perfect for travel. This palette has all the colors that you're going to need if you're going somewhere, so the Lorac Mega Pro palettes are really great if you travel very often or if you just want one palette that you can take everywhere with you, and the mirror definitely helps with that. So what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to individually swatch every single one of these shadows and then wipe it off and swatch it again so that I don't have two and a half arms full of swatches because I don't think I have enough room on my arms for all of these. So hopefully that will work and will help you guys out if you're wondering about these shades. Very quickly before I start swatching, I dug into my collection and found my Lorac Mega Pro 2. Unfortunately, I did miss the first one, but I did pick up this one. And I believe I did a video on it like forever ago. I might have taken it down because a lot has changed. But here is the Lorac Mega Pro 2. This is more of an all over the place eyeshadow palette. It doesn't so much have a theme in my eyes. Again though, they always launch around fall and it's perfect for fall. But if you missed out on this one, I honestly think that I like the Lorac Mega Pro 3 better. 
So definitely jump on Alta's website. By the time this video goes up, the Lorac Mega Pro 3 will be live and I will have it linked in my description for you guys. So here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of the Lorac Mega Pro 2 and Mega Pro 3. This one to me clearly has more of a theme to it. It's more of a neutral nudes palette. You can clearly see that it's more of an everyday wearable palette. This one has the pops of color in it. This one, not so much. So it's all up to you. I think that everyone could benefit from a beautiful neutral palette. But you guys know me. You know my obsession for neutrals. So you pretty much know I'm going to die over the Lorac Mega Pro 3. I'm going to start with the first row, which is a matte shadow row. And we're going to start with the first color, which is pink cream. It's a matte pink cream color. So here is pink cream on my middle finger. So here is pink cream. This would make a really good all over the lid base color or even a matte brow bone highlight. Next up is the shade tan, which is a mauve crease transition shade. So there is tan on my finger. Definitely blends in with my skin tone. So there is tan. It's a beautiful dusty mauve color and I really think it would look nice in the crease. Next up is pecan or pecan, however you want to say it, which is a little bit of a darker mauve, but it still is in that transition color family. And as you might be able to see, I'm already getting the palette kind of dirty. So there is pecan and it's very smooth and buttery matte. This pecan color is actually kind of speaking to me. I kind of want to use it in my crease. <laughs> Next up in the palette is Walnut. I think people are going to freak out for this shade because it's the perfect brown shade. I'm always looking for a brown that I think will look good on all skin tones and Walnut might just be it. So there's Walnut on my finger. It actually reminds me of a color that is one of my favorites. It's from Anastasia. I can't remember the name, but beautiful brown color. I think I could totally do a brown smoky eye with this and be very happy with the result. So that right there is Walnut. Next up in the palette is Dusty Mauve, which is exactly what it says. It's a beautiful Dusty Mauve color. If you are a fan of cool tone mauve colors, you're going to love the first row of shadows. So there is Dusty Mauve on my finger. And there it is on my hand. Very beautiful, very soft. All of Lorac's shadows are very soft, so don't drop the palette. That's all I'm saying. Next up is Violet Gray, which is a darker mauve color. This one would be very beautiful next to Dusty Mauve, maybe in the crease to darken it up. So there is Violet Gray on my finger. So there's Violet Gray on my hand. It's just a little bit darker. And again, it has a very smooth and blendable formula. Next up is the shade Eggplant, which I think is going to be a fan favorite out of the palette. Everyone is always looking for that dark maroon, beautiful color for the fall. You can make smoky eyes with it, and I just love that color. I think it would be beautiful blended out on the lower lash line, so I can't wait to swatch this one. So there is Eggplant on my finger. And there it is swatched, Holy Pigmentation. Lorac's dark shadows are so impressive. I love this shade and I think, again, it would be so beautiful in a smoky eye in the fall. And the last shade in the top row is Dark Navy, which is, again, exactly what it says. Lorac is very specific with the names of their shadows. It definitely describes the colors very well. And there is Dark Navy on my finger. It kind of reminds me of a slate color. Definitely slate, in my opinion. So there is dark navy. Onto the second row of mattes. You're going to be a fan of this row if you like your warm tones. I definitely love my warm tones in the fall, so I really love this row right here. So I'm going to start with the cream color of this row called crepe. So there is crepe on my finger. So there is crepe swatched on my hand, very smooth and very buttery again. So next up is toffee, and this toffee color I used as a crease color in my crease today. And there is toffee on my finger. This is a beautiful tan color. I love this as a transition color. I really enjoyed using it today. So there you go, that's why I enjoyed it. It really matches my skin tone. So perfect transition for me. Next up is the shade Mist 
which is a very different color. I've never seen a color like this. It's kind of a muted gray, very light gray color with a little bit of maybe teal tones in it. So there is mist swatched on my hand. As you can see, it's kind of a baby teal color. Next up is vintage, which to me kind of looks like a cool toned brown. Looking at it on my finger, it might even have some olive or green tones in it. So there is vintage. And there it is swatched on my hand. Next up is hickory, which looks like a almost purple toned brown. This shade is very pigmented, nice and dark with one swatch. So there is Hickory on my hand. This would be a beautiful smoky eye color again. Next up is the color that spoke to me the most in the palette. This is the shade Maple. It's a very warm toned, caramel toned brown. So there is Maple on my finger. And there is Maple on my hand. Very beautiful brown color. Next up is another dark brown called Bark. There is Bark on my fingertip. This reminds me of Makeup Geek Coco Bear at first look. So there is Bark swatched, again a very beautiful brown. This is definitely the palette for me because I love my brown smoky eyes. And next up, I'm pretty excited about this. I've told you guys before, I don't know if you've heard me say it, but Lorac has very beautiful black shades. Their blacks are the blackest that I have tried, so the next color is Jet Black. So there's Jet Black on my finger. You can definitely see what I'm saying here. It's very dark, very black. And I love that about Lorac. They always include a black in their pro palettes. So there is Jet Black. Have you ever seen a black that doesn't look faded? Because I haven't except for Lorac. Now moving on to the third row, we're going to start getting into shimmer shades. Lorac takes the cake for shimmers for me. If I had to pick a shimmer formula that I like best out of all of the eyeshadow brands out there, Lorac would definitely be my answer because their shimmers are beautiful. If you have trouble blending shimmers into the crease, which I know a lot of people do, try Lorac shadows for that because they're so buttery and smooth. You really can use them all over the eye. I definitely use them in my crease today. The first four shades that I'm going to talk about I have on my eyes today and I will tell you where. So we're going to start out with Snow, which is a shimmery white shade. So here it is on my finger. Again, the shimmers in the Lorac palettes, I feel like they're way more pigmented than even the mattes. The mattes are beautifully pigmented, but the shimmers are just amazing. I have Snow on the inner corner of my eyes today and I just took the tiniest bit and it gave me the pigmentation that I wanted. So there is Snow. I mean, come on guys, it's unreal. Their shimmers are just to die for. So moving on to the shade Kava or Kava. It's a beautiful champagne nude shimmer and I love these colors in every single Lorac palette that I have that has a shimmery nude, I have hit pan. So I definitely will hit pan on this one because it's one of my favorites. I have it on the inner third of my eye today. So there is Kava or Kava. I'm not really sure what that word is, but I love it. It's so beautiful and champagne. If you love the champagne shadows, you're going to love this one. So there is Kava or Kava. Next up is the shade Cider. And I have this on the outer third of my eye today. And oh my God, you guys, Cider. Like this is why I think this palette is fall themed because of some of the names like Maple, Cider, Brown Sugar, Deep Fog. I don't know, there's just so many fall shades in here. So Cider is a beautiful warm toned bronze. So there is Cider on my finger. And there's Cider on my hand, again with the shimmers you guys, so beautiful. Next up is a peachy shimmer color called Bellini. And I actually have Bellini on the center of my eyelid, packed all over the center today. I love this color. So there is Bellini on my finger. Again, it's kind of champagne peach. It actually reminds me a lot of champagne pop. And that's another thing with the shimmers, the formula of the Lorac Shimmer Shadows actually are beautiful as highlighters. I have one in the Lorac Pro 3. If you saw my video on that, I use one of those shadows as my highlight all the time. It's so beautiful. So there is Bellini. It actually looks like a very beautiful highlighter, don't you guys agree? Next up is Brown Sugar, which looks like an even darker bronze than Cider. So there's Brown Sugar on my finger. 
So there is brown sugar. This would be a beautiful all over the lid shade. Next up is Sequoia, which is a red toned bronze color. And there it is on my fingertip. So that right there is Sequoia. And that actually looks like a beautiful shimmery maroon. Next up is Glacier, which is a shimmery silver color. So there's Glacier on my finger. And there is Glacier on the back of my hand. This is the perfect silver color. Next up is Deep Fog, which is a slate color again, but it is a shimmer version. So there's Deep Fog on my finger. So that right there is Deep Fog. So moving on to the last row of shimmers, we have Tool, which is the nude shimmer from this row. So there is Tool on my finger. And there it is swatched on my hand. Next up, I have Pink Bronze, which is another beautiful nude color. It's just a little bit darker. So there's Pink Bronze on my finger. And there is Pink Bronze on my hand. It's a very beautiful rosy color. Next up is the shade Rust, which reminds me of fall leaves, but in a shimmer form. It's a beautiful fiery orange shimmer. So there is Rust. Rust reminds me of Makeup Geek Flamethrower. Next up is another favorite I have heard among people who have already tried this palette, and it is Rose Quartz. There it is on my finger. It's a beautiful rose gold color. And there is Rose Quartz swatched on my hand. Next up is another one of my favorite shadows, and this is Olive. And that is a very beautiful dark green olive shimmer. And there is Olive swatched on my hand. Next up is Dark Roast, which is a beautiful kind of mauve toned dark brown. Definitely looks like espresso on my finger, but shimmery. So there is Dark Roast. Now aside from that olive color, the next color is pretty much the only pop of color that this palette has. And it is the shade Pomegranate, which looks like a beautiful kind of hot pink almost. And this is that cranberry color that everyone would like for the fall. So there is pomegranate on my finger. So there is pomegranate. And lastly in the palette is licorice. And this is a shimmery black. So again, it is super black. It just has a shimmer finish. And there is licorice. So those are all of the swatches and shades out of the Lorac Mega Pro 3. I just want to show you guys something because if you are like me and you're definitely going to get use out of this palette, you have to keep in mind it is going to get very dirty, especially if you swatch them and show your friends. So take a look at my palette now that I swatched it. As you can see, the swatches did some damage. It's kind of hard to get this off once you have this on, so I might try to take some alcohol to it, but I just want to be careful not to ruin the shadows or fingernail them. You guys know, so if you're very OCD or picky about this kind of thing, it's definitely something to keep in mind. But this palette is very gorgeous. I hope that my swatches helped you guys. Again, this is $59 in US dollars. It is exclusive to Ulta and Ulta Online. So it will be in stores, it will be online. Usually the Lorac Mega Pros are still in store towards the holiday season, but I would jump on it just in case. You never know how fast something is going to sell out. So if you are interested in it or getting it for someone for Christmas, I would do it now just to be safe. I am definitely not sponsored by Ulta or anything, but if you are an Ulta member, make sure you have the rewards program because $59 is going to get you 59 points. And I'm a huge user of Ulta points. Once you rack up a certain amount, you are platinum. That's how I got this palette early. So definitely use your rewards points. Definitely rack them up. And always check and see if you have a little promotion going on. Sometimes you can double your points or triple them before you purchase. And then you get an excess amount of points. So Just to recap, you get 16 mattes. 16 shimmers. The mattes are very pigmented, very buttery and smooth. They blend better than a lot that I have in my collection. I like my mattes to be blendable. Mattes are notorious for not being blendable, but these are. 
The shimmers of Lorac palettes are extremely, extremely pigmented. They are my favorite shimmer out of any formula of eyeshadow. So my only negative that I have to share with you is that it's a white palette. It's going to get dirty, but it's so beautiful and I'm very happy to have it in my collection. If you want to see a look using this palette, then let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if you liked it. Don't forget to check the description box. I will have links to this palette where you can get it. It will be live by the time this video is up in case you want to grab it. Also, I always leave details on what I'm wearing, what's on my face, what's on my body down in the description box. A lot of the time you guys ask me the same question, what is on my lips, what is my hair, etc. What am I wearing? It's always in the description box, so definitely check there. I will answer you guys, but it gets very repetitive after a while, and it is in the description box. So I really hope that you like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. It helps me a lot. If you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you. I'm going to have a lot of similar videos to this in the month of October. Hopefully my channel will be the place to be if you are looking for reviews on new makeup launches. I definitely will try to get my hands on a few holiday items to review them in case you were looking to get gifts for people or anything like that. So I hope that you subscribe and join my YouTube fam. Go ahead and follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram if you haven't already. I definitely keep you guys up to date on all of my social media throughout the times that I'm not filming. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.